Ryan Raybert was arraigned in the Belmopan Magistrates Court today for reportedly being involved in the kidnapping of Lloyd Theason and his wife. The kidnapping occurred about two months ago and is suspected to be spearheaded by William Mason after a business deal between them went south. Herbert Pandon, who is the attorney for Mason and the four other individuals charged for Pastor Llewellyn Lucas's murder, is also representing Rayburn. Love News was at the courthouse and spoke to the defendant's attorney, Herbert Panton. Whatever the facts are of the case, the, civil, the criminal procedure rules say that they ought to be presented to the defendant prior to arraignment. On the facts of the case, it must be established, on the facts presented, it must be established that there is a prima facie case. Now, we are not dealing with evidence. Evidence comes at the time of PI and at the time of trial. But when reading the facts, you must be able to surmise that kidnapping, which is the charge here, actually occurred. And how does kidnapping occur? It occurs when you hold someone against his or her will. The facts say that two Creole descent persons, male persons, held the Friesons at the residence at Intelco Hill. The moment they were held against their will, the kidnapping occurred. They said that they did not know the male persons, but if they saw them again, they would be able to recognize them. They did not mention Mr. Rayburn's name as to any of the two gentlemen at Intelco Hill. The facts further state that they were driven from Intelco Hill to the farm on the Western Highway. They, they had some kind of crocker sack or something over their heads, but through the little holes in that sack, they were able to recognize Mr. Rayburn. No, the kidnapping don't happen. So you recognize Mr. Rayburn. How do you connect Mr. Rayburn to the kidnapping? Mr. Rayburn works at the farm. Mr. Rayburn is a farm manager. Mr. Rayburn may very well have been tending the sheep, the pig, the cow, the goat, whatever it is, is on the farm. So, but, and then the, the, the charge states of kidnapping at mile 30 and 31, we should put it in the Belize Judicial District. But how could you kidnap at mile 30 and 31 if the Friesen say they were held against their will at Intelco Hill? So, it's not that, I, I am sure, all, all that needs to happen is for the police to get their ducks in a row. Put the facts together, put the charge together, and come back, rearrest my client and charge him. I am certain that they will come and, um, and charge him. I have no problem, and I had no problem with that on the first occasion. There is the addition of video footage which reportedly shows just how the kidnapping took place at the Intelco Hill home of Mason. Panton spoke of the set video. But all I'm saying, Lord, man, you that the police force, get your ducks in a row, get your act together. You know what is unfortunate about all this? I want you to ask the police if up to the second, if any one of them have consulted the director of public prosecution. I want to know that fundamental question because then they play um, stop and go, stop and go, stop and go. I have been between Belize City and Belmopan since the start of this week, man. You know? They need to get their ducks in a row. I'm sure they will come and rearrest my client. That is not the issue here. But get your act together. If you if you start to drive a pile and you lean from the start, what happens when the house go on it? That is all I am asking of the police. Get your ducks in a row. All I will say is that from the very first press conference that the police top brass has had, they have whipped this nation up into a frenzy and it is a frenzy with unrealistic expectations. I don't know what they have in their possession. Upon disclosure date, I will get that information, but they very well know that they continue to throw this piecemeal information out. They prejudice their own case. And I ask the question again, why has the DPP not been consulted up to this point? That is the question I want you to put to the top brass of the police.